Facebook dynamic retargeting. So retargeting, which is also known as remarketing, what does it do? Um, it's actually gonna, it's, once people find out what it is, it's gonna become a controversial product where some people will love it. And um, big businesses, I think, will especially hate it. Um, but so it'll be something to look out for this year as uh, Facebook rolls it out more, uh, more widespread. So what, what is it? Um, retargeting or remarketing is the same thing. It's basically like when somebody goes to your website, you tag them, and then you're able to serve banner ads to the person every day on various websites they go on. So um, if you've ever been to Amazon, then you leave and you start seeing banner ads for Amazon popping up all over, all over the place with uh, the same type of product that you were looking for. That's essentially what remarketing is. So what is Facebook's dynamic retargeting? What they're trying out is, let's say you're a sign manufacturer and you're, you're doing you know retargeting. So basically, um, if you have anybody click on the Facebook ad, if you have anybody go to your website, um, you're able to tag that person and you're, be, you're able to essentially serve Facebook ads back to that same person. So let's say you have Joe, Joe's on Facebook and he sees a sign company, he sees uh, ABC sign company and and so he sees the banner ad he clicks on the link goes to the website so because Joe has been on ABC signs website he is now going to be seeing ABC signs a little bit more frequently um, on Facebook which is cool so but Facebook is adding another dynamic uh, uh, dimension to it <laughs> dimension it's Friday and I'm tired uh, dimension they're adding another dimension to um, the retargeting. So what'll, what'll happen is um, some of the bigger companies that are out there like say Fast Signs, um, let's say somebody has been on Fast Signs website, that is somebody who is interested in signs. You don't know if, if, if they called Fast Signs or if they became a customer of Fast Signs, but you do know that they've been on their website and, the, and you know they have a need for that type of product. So what Facebook is doing now is if you're ABC Signs, um, you are able to do remarketing to people that have been on your competitors' websites. So you would have the ability as ABC Signs, even though somebody goes on the Fast Signs website, you are able to do remarketing to them. So another example of this would be, um, let's say you are a courier company and let's say somebody goes to the uh, UPS website, for instance. Um, they, they're on Facebook, they see an ad for UPS, and they click on it, they go, with, go to the UPS website. So Facebook would now give you the ability, um, let's say the name of your business is uh, Tom's Courier, Courier Service. Um, what'll happen is when somebody goes to the UPS website, um, your Tom's Courier Service ad would then be able to be served to that same person that went on the UPS's website. So basically you can piggyback off your bigger competitors um, and, and the remarketing that they're doing. So that's gonna be controversial because if you're a bigger company and you're spending this money on the advertising, um, you wanna keep the remarketing list to yourself. Like you, you, know, you have a list of all the people that have been on your website and, and you want to exclusively advertise to them. You don't want to, you don't want your competitors to get access to it because, um, you know, let's say me, Chris, um, let's say I go on the UPS website, instead of seeing UPS banner ads um, all over the place, I'm seeing banner ads for like all these courier companies, all these shipping companies. I'm seeing like shipping companies and courier companies. I'm seeing it everywhere. It's not just UPS, it's like everybody. So this product's gonna be controversial. Um, I think Facebook will probably be making some tweaks and some changes to it as uh, more people learn about it, what it is, what it does. Um, I don't expect it to be out there for long. Um, I think these big companies are gonna say, hold on a sec, you know, we spent a lot of money um, building up our, our remarketing list and we don't want our potential customers that went to our website, not these other small businesses, but our website, we don't want them to be bombarded by all these other companies. We want it to just be UPS that they see. We want that to be exclusive. So I think they're gonna have a big problem with it, but if you're a small business, 
um, you probably want to get in on it um, as soon as you can and that's um, something that we're you know now able to offer for our clients to do uh, Facebook advertising with us or you know at least trying it out just because uh, Facebook just launched it not not too long ago maybe like a month ago or so